good morning. Um, so today is Saturday. Lost the light. Uh, so today is Saturday, and it's kind of like a weird Saturday. I have to do a little bit of work because um, we're having a software release, and I need to like make sure it went out into production okay. And then I have a ton of laundry to catch up on, which is that's more normal Saturday stuff. And then packing, and um, I think yeah, today I'll just like spend the day around the house doing work stuff, doing doing house laundry stuff. Um, we had our house appraisal last Thursday, <clears throat> so we shouldn't have any more people coming like in and out of the house anymore. So we can finally like start to pack, and like it can look a little bit messier than it has, um, which is definitely a relief. So. I'm gonna work for a bit and then um, kind of get into more normal Saturday stuff. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Hey guys and happy Sunday. So after yesterday when I checked in first thing in the morning, I ended up working for a while. Um, and then after that was done, I packed probably like half my clothes. I wanna say like I only have like half my clothes, maybe even less um, to go, which is like, it feels like a huge accomplishment. Um, then I ended up taking a bath and just relaxing cause Mike was with his friend for the day. And I worked out for the first time in forever. Um, and then we ended up having Mike's, um, Mike's siblings and their SOs over, um, to, to pass out candy for the trick-or-treaters, so that was a lot of fun. Um, and this morning, let's see, what did we do? We, we ended up going to my grandparents to help them, um, put some of, like, their summer lawn furniture away. And, um, then we just got back and kind of just been hanging out for the rest of the evening. Uh, I packed up a little bit of stuff in the kitchen because that is, I don't know if like you guys have ever moved or just moved a kitchen, but kitchens are the worst in my opinion to move because like there are so many little things that like don't fit in a box nicely and like don't pack together well. Um, so it's really not something I've been looking forward to. So like one little box at a time um, and hopefully it feels a little bit less painful than it normally does. Um, actually ended up packing, I wasn't gonna pack anything today, but we got some winter coats delivered because since we're moving to Mass and it's gonna be a, probably a lot colder than it is here um, in, Mass, in, in Colorado. We got some new winter jackets. So we got, this is mine. Um, it's a faux fur hood, just in case you were curious. Um, so I just got a big puffy jacket and so, I don't know, I'm sure these just look like big black jackets on camera. But he got a black jacket, I got a black jacket. Um, and so I ended up packing all of that kitchen stuff in the box. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little bit puffy, but, uh, <laughs> but, but it works, I guess. Um, so see, I ended up, we had packed like our miscellaneous drawer, so like, whatever, like you have all the miscellaneous kitchen stuff, and then just our random kind of junk drawer. And then I packed like some of our just like random pots, pans, um, mugs, utensils, sorts of stuff. Um, these are all things that we're not really gonna need over the next couple weeks. Um, and if we do, like it's fine, like we'll just, we'll manage without. Um, so yeah, I might do one more box because I'm kind of feeling motivated right now. Um, and then probably just like relax for the rest of the evening. So now I'm going to pack um, our hallway closet. Yeah, I figured this is a good place to start since a lot of it is just like extras and like just other kind of random things we have around the house, um, like first aid stuff, 
Um, so like if we need it in the next few weeks, we can grab it from the bin, but um, yeah, that's nothing that we use every day. Uh, and I already went through here and I kind of cleaned it out already. I like threw out all the expired stuff and like whatever. I like went through and cleaned it out and I put a lot of things in like little random pouches that I have already just so it's kind of already cleaned. Um, see this, this one is like all my like hair accessories. Um, I have like a handful of scrunchies and stuff out so I'll be fine. This guy is like, it's icy hot and like they're like really big bandages so that can go. Um, so this guy, lady stuff. Um, here I have, it's like toothbrush, like extra toothbrush heads. Um, so, and like a razor so that can go away. This is all like extra makeup. I have plenty. And this one I think is like, more, oh, what is it? It's like soap and like seasonal flu allergy stuff that can go. Um, let's see. Nail polishes, I think. Maybe I'll like leave one out. I don't know. Maybe I'll take this with me since like we are kind of like doing this move around like holiday time. And also, we're going to Christmas stuff with family. So um, I want to have my nails done. Um, keep those out. Advil, keep that out. This I'll do like all of like our <clears throat> washcloths and things. Um, I'll keep like some of my makeup removing ones off. Turn those all in there. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I actually did not go through this guy like at all. Snappy box. It's like a little epilator for like um take like takes the fuzzies off of pants like uh, leggings and sweaters. Um, I'm gonna say these aren't expired. Um, I hate these little scrunchies. Like you know, I hate, I hate these guys. Those can go. Um, see Mike's extra shampoo. I think he's running low on that. Um, lotion. Go. Which hazel. These ones are all like little storage containers that look like I cleaned everything out of already. This can go. Mm. Let's make sure these are all locked. Locked and locked. Like it's like random stuff like this that like I absolutely hate packing because like I feel like I have to pack it with things and it's just a pain to pack these sorts of things. It's like different jars, and baskets, stuff that. I like have like all of Mike's backup contact solution in here and I'm like I don't know at what frequency someone goes through contact solution. He has like two huge bottles and like three tiny ones and I'm just like I have absolutely no idea, so I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave those guys out. Um just throw random stuff in there. I'm like really dreading having to go through my makeup and say like what am I gonna want to bring with me for the next couple months. Um just because I don't know. I like low on my makeup and I tried to treat it treat it equally and I don't want it to go away. Um So I just grabbed a bunch of stuff from our spare bathroom, like our hallway one, and I think this bin is pretty much full. So I'm going 
to, yeah, I'm gonna put the lid on this guy. I am like doing my best to like keep all of stuff that like kind of intuitively goes together in one bin. Um, uh, so that when we are unpacking, like I can just um, like unpack like one specific area at a time and not have to like take a bin and like run all over the new house um, to just to try to empty it. And we also are trying to get all clear bins so that like we don't really have to like we can label it but like we'll know like oh I know that this one is the one with my sweaters or I know that like the, even though this is bathroom this is like the bathroom like toiletry stuff and not like bathroom towel stuff um so I'm trying to do that but bins are like one of those things where it's just like ridiculously expensive um for a plastic storage bin I think the bigger ones that I was using we got them from Walmart and they were like $17 a piece like not bad but like when you're buying a ton of them to pack up your whole house it kind of like it kind of adds up so 